Hi, so let's start with the back end first. Uh, when you just type this URL, it will take you to the back end. It will take you basically to the login screen. And uh, when you log in, uh, you'll see this dashboard. So basically, what you have to do is uh, go here, Gilly's Cottage, click visit website, visit site. So when you click on that, it will load the same page, the home page. But if you see, there is a top bar over here where it is written Beaver Builder. You just need to click on this home. And when you click on this, it will just make the builder <coughs> active and uh, you can edit all the text or images by your own. So just click on this text. You can update this, save it and done from here and then publish it. So just remember to publish it for sure because if you don't publish it won't show you anything on the live site so similarly for images as well like when you click on image it will show you how to if you want to remove the image or if you want to edit the image if you edit the image you can select another image from here from the media and just select the photo save it publish done and publish so this is the important job done and publish and then further go with the next sections so if you can see uh, there are two images over here one for desktop one for mobile so it's separate because uh, we need to make adjustments on mobile so to like do that we have to create two images uh, one we should we have to hide one from desktop and one from mobile but we have to uh, like change on backend we have to change both the images on backend so whenever you feel to change this those images you need to change both of them and then the content is same for both mobile and desktop you just need to edit it click on it change the content save it done and publish so that's it then further same with an, another section there are two images same with another section two images this is a cta cta button this is currently read a, like uh, i have added a link to booking page uh, like whenever you click on it it will take you to booking page you can change the text of cta button from here save it done it and publish so it's like this very simple to change the content photo gallery you can click on photo gallery you will see there is a edit gallery and eight photos are selected so you can just edit gallery from here you can select the images or add more images from the media library and then update the gallery from here and save and then done and publish so you can do that cottage rules cottage rules are very simple like uh, there are two types of like uh, two sections basically i think bashir have mentioned you about this uh, this one have a little bit of accordion into it so when you click on it these are divided into item one two three and you can add more items as well so when you just edit it you can just change the content rule number one to whatever you want to write about um, instead of it then save done and publish so that's it and same with the maps as well one is for desktop one is for mobile so when you click on the map you'll see there is a uh, height you can adjust of the map and it will like adjust the width accordingly according to columns so you can change the address over here if you want otherwise it's it's good to go this is the form uh, and the form is created in uh, another plugin so that's like uh, that's the plugin from where we edit and uh, add fields and remove fields whatever we do from uh, there and if you need to edit this please let me know i'll i'll let you know in details 
so that's it about the content and images now regarding how to work with the booking system so if you can see here at the uh, like at the left bottom downside uh, wp booking system when you click on it it will show you there is there is a calendars option the first thing is calendars you can add new calendar so for now i have added this calendar you can edit it when you edit this calendar you'll see there are options according to date if it's available or not if someone book this from the website it will not be available it will show it will change to booked or whatever change over one change over two but you can uh, make like changes from here as well and uh, you can change the prices here you can put the description whatever you want so so this is like this is the calendar for monthly base or something like that this like this is one is for july you can change the date as much as you like want whenever you just go july 2023 it will show more months down so it's it's like that it's it works like that you can even edit a in edit this in bulk from which date to which date we, you want to uh edit the price description or whatever you want and uh, you can put the default price for your uh, like cottage so it's like that and uh, from here you can uh, access your calendar and then uh, this is for the forms like whatever extra fields or uh, anything new or anything like you want to additionally ask from a customers you can do it from here like uh, you can add a new text field con like i have added a consent field payment option and all stuff are here so we can add uh, the form stuff over here like the uh, details if we need to ask from client so for now like the email address and all stuff is here then there is a booking stuff when you go to booking tabs from here from here you'll see there are a lot of bookings i have test bookings made over here so you can see it like this so all the bookings are bookings will be listed here you can visit them you can check if that is paid or not or for what dates those are booked and all stuff so that's the booking thing uh you can add coupons discounts and there are various settings on it so you can just visit over here and go through it you'll you'll like found many things that can be done all right so that's it and uh I actually set up the emails and all stuff over here. So payment and everything uh, like need to be set up when you have all the APIs and all stuff you, when whenever you provide that. Other than that like everything is set up properly. You can visit it and uh, see. Let me know if there is anything I can help with. Thank you.